on range get closer than Corpus Christi, which was a couple of hundred miles from the most devastated area. But I also think that uh, the, the, the president and the first lady in that first visit seem to be rookies in terms of uh, the way they uh, responded to or behaved during that uh, during that visit during that crisis. The president is the healer in chief. Uh, the pre I know Donald Trump for four decades. I know he is an empathetic, compassionate, uh, loving person. Uh, but there, there wasn't enough interaction between the president and the actual victims. How do you know, Geraldo? I mean, we only really, jump in there. Actually, there, there was z zero. Show me one picture of the president with a victim of the storm, Sandra. It is literally... Wait, so had he, had he made that prevalent to the cameras, then you would have said it was all for optics, it was all for the cameras. Listen, I am advising him I'm trying to be helpful. Okay. Melania can't go with stiletto heels to a, to a store. Oh, Geraldo. Oh, Geraldo. Oh, you can't, you can't, you can't, went onto the airplane. You cannot. You no, cannot. it's fair to say, it's fair to criticize the president's leadership style. He's the president, right? It's fair to say things like he didn't appear to be incredibly emotive. He didn't appear to necessarily act as a sort of consoler in chief. He didn't hug a lot of people, but I think it's unfair to extrapolate from that that he is uh, empathetic. That's a sort of pop psychology. Yeah, I don't that think, I, 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 I don't yeah. think that's what the people want, Geraldo. I think your advice, look, you know the president well. That's also not his, not his personality. The, the people there that are suffering, that are now picking up the pieces of their life. Oh, I have seen you with his grandchildren. Hold on, very very loving. Do they want a hug right now? No. I think they want solutions. I think they want the president on the ground, which he was before the storm was even over. He's now giving a million of his own dollars to what's going on there. I think they want the federal government to say, we will give you everything you possibly need to survive this and to recover. How I, can go so far? I would, I would say this too, Abby. The last election was as much about policies that Donald Trump uh, you know, is, is going to bring forward as it was about people getting sick of phony politicians. When we saw Hillary Clinton faking a black accent or pretending to be just like us, you know what I like about the Trumps? They are who they are. You know, he flies around a jet with his name on it. Um, he is who he is. He went there and he's a CEO. And what I saw in those images was not an emoter in chief. What I saw was a CEO managing it. And that's what I want. I will give um, you what, every wrote. dollar in my wallet that the Donald Trump, the President Trump that visits Texas uh, in the next day or so will be a totally different personality than the, than the person who visited the first time. And I will bet you money that the first lady will have boots on and, and they will, um, and they will, right. and okay. they will ask the victims, how are you doing? And just a reminder, she didn't get off of Air Force Front One in Texas in heels. She departed in them. We'll continue to follow the devastation out of Texas. We've got all these unbelievable pictures coming off, off the ground and in the air right now. Plus, President Trump expected to announce he will end an Obama-era program that protects young illegals from deportation. But Democrats and business executives are slamming that news today. Should he do it? We won't debate that. What if we told you there's a quick, easy way to get rid of the daily hassles of contacts and glasses? And even better, what if it could cost as little as $250? Well, it's all true. All thanks to LASIK Plus. For a limited time only, LASIK Plus can help fix your vision for only $250. Our lowest price ever. Call 844-LASIK Plus to schedule your free LASIK exam. Results may vary. Restrictions apply. See details at LASIK250.com. I'm Chuck Woolery, and this message is for everyone suffering from back pain. Now, if you're driving in your car right now, I'm sure every bump, every little crack you run over, feels like a giant speed bump sending shooting pain through your back. Pain you'll be feeling all day. Back pain like that makes a 30-minute commute feel like a punishing two-hour drive. But here's some good news. If you're by a CVS or Walgreens, pull in right now. Walk back to the pain relief aisle and get Australian Dream Back Pain Cream. It's in a purple box. Australian Dream is real effective medicine that really works. Rub it where it hurts. Give yourself some relief. Try Australian Dream Back Pain Cream backed by the empty jar guarantee. Use the entire jar. If it doesn't relieve your back pain, I want you to send back the empty jar for a full refund. Pull into the nearest CVS or Walgreens, get Australian Dream Back Pain Cream now in the purple box or visit AustralianDream.com.
Attention, if you owe money to the IRS, this is an urgent message. The IRS is cracking down this year by sending out heart-stopping letters, aggressively garnishing paychecks, seizing bank accounts, and putting liens on homes and businesses. They call it enforced compliance. And you better watch out, because penalties and interest on unpaid taxes compound daily, making it seem impossible to ever get out of debt. Don't let tax debt destroy your life. You need to call Optima Tax Relief, the number one tax resolution firm. They are experts in the Fresh Start Initiative, one of the biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered. If you qualify, you can save thousands, even tens of thousands. Optima's resolved over a half billion dollars of tax debt for their clients. They have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and will fight to get you the best deal possible. Call Optima now for a free consultation. Call 800-725-9935. 800-725-9935. 800-725-9935. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Hey, remember the mortgage meltdown of 2008? Have you tried to get a mortgage since then and been turned down? Or maybe you haven't even tried because your credit score is stuck at 585, or your tax returns have too many write-offs. Well, Cash Call Mortgage has great news for you. We've just introduced programs for people who've been told no. And what's doubly exciting is that we can solve your mortgage problems with no closing costs, no points, title, escrow, and no fees. Wait. Cash Call, are you saying you now have credit and income-solving mortgages with no closing costs? Are you kidding? You heard right. A credit or income-solving loan with no closing costs. Call 877-860-CASH and we'll work with you to solve your mortgage issues. Make the cash call at 877-860-CASH. First mortgage is Impact Mortgage Board, DBA Capital Mortgage, one State Boulevard, Mortgage, California, 92868, NMLS, 128231. Equal housing lender, not licensed in all states, not available in Washington State. Call 855-657-9910 for licensing, terms, and restrictions. And that's 877-860-CASH. Shelf smart when you make Burlington stores your back-to-school headquarters. From shoes to backpacks to lunch bags, Burlington is packed with the very best to send them back to class in style. Score the latest tees, sneakers, and jeans on everyone's list. Plus, all the basics, like socks and underwear, too. The top brand names you love at up to 65% off other retailers' prices every day. You're ready for the school year at Burlington. Style for everyone. Fox News alert, President Trump expected to soon announce he will end DACA, the Obama-era program that defers deportations for people who came to the country illegally as children. But the political implications could be huge. Democrats blasting the move and top execs from Silicon Valley leading the charge among business leaders, urging the president not to scrap, scrap DACA. Obviously, Geraldo, you're going to have some strong thoughts on that. <laughs> you think? Uh, I, I just want to say this, and, and I, I want to be crystal clear and unmistakable in my message to, to Donald Trump. You, you cannot do this. You cannot make true the false stereotype that you are cruel and uncaring. You must do the right thing. These are the most vetted immigrants we have ever had. We know their background, they've been fingerprinted, they, they have to be crime free, they have to either be uh, uh, gainfully employed or in college. Uh, many of them, most of them have citizen uh, siblings. If, if we were now to unleash the power of the federal government to root out 800,000 of these Dream Act students, it would permanently tarnish the reputation and legacy of President Trump, and it will affect how I feel about it. I'm, I'm bringing in Rachel Campos Duffy because I know that this is yeah. something very near and dear to your heart, something that you deal with every single day. It is, well, listen, this morning we had on Fox Business Steve Cortez, who heads up Trump's Hispanic Advisory Board. He says that he has been talking to folks inside the White House, advising them to do just what you said, not to, uh, to, to to take away DACA. I will, this is what I think is happening. I hope, at least, that he's using this I will, I won't um, uh, undo this executive order as a chip, if you will, um, to get Democrats on board for border security. Because, Geraldo, as you and I both know, if you want comprehensive uh, immigration reform, then you better be for securing the border, because that's the only way to get both sides, the Republicans and the Democrats, on board uh, for comprehensive immigration reform. And without border security, and by the way, the president's doing really good on that. It's down 70%. So I, I think 
That's what I hope is happening. You know, he's following through, as you said, Sandra, on the promise he made on the campaign trail to get rid of this. But now he's handing it over no, no, to no, but Congress. Abby, he promised on the campaign trail to be compassionate with the dreamers. That is what yeah. he said. Well, I think it's a real challenge. You say one thing on the campaign trail, then you get in there and you are president of the United States and you see the reality of how many lives will be affected when you put something forward like that. So I think in a way he's sort of...